So welcome back. In the last video, what we have seen is we have created the we have created this application where when you run this code, it will be so it will be storing this object in the database, right? Now in the hibernate.cfg.xml file, we have mentioned update, right? So that's why whenever you run this application, all this new data. So if I let's say if I change this to three, and if I say Hirsch and let's say for color Hirsch is let's say blue or blue I've already done right let's say Cyan now in this color if I if I run this code you can see in our database we'll be getting Hirsch as well if I run this code and you can see we got Hirsch but you can see we are not creating database again and again so it is using the existing table is because we are using update but what will happen if I say create and if I change this value from 103 to 104 and with the same name Hush and Cyan, and if I run this code, if I go back to my database, you can see if I run this code, you can see we got a new table. So it has deleted the old table and it is creating a new table. And that is what it does. When you say create, it will create a table every time you run this code. Now, what is happening behind the scene? I mean, when you say when you run this code, See, we are able to store data into database, right? So that means your MySQL only work with SQL. So somewhere your Hibernate is converting your code into SQL. But how? For that, what we can do is, uh, we can use one more property here and we can name these properties as show underscore SQL and we can say true because by default, you cannot see the SQL query if you do if you do this if you say show SQL, show SQL true It will make sure that you you will get your query in the console window. Let's try it out once again If I run this code since we are using create it will drop the old table and you can see we got the entire SQL query here It says drop table if any or if exist alien Create a table with all these fails and it is saying not null and then we are also specifying the primary key at the end, primary key AID, and then we are inserting the values, right? So that means even if you are not writing SQL queries, Hibernate is creating an SQL query for you. Awesome, right? So if I go back here, and so that is we have create, and then we have true. Uh, so these are two two properties we can use. In fact, let's say if I if I say update here, it will not create a new table now. If I say update, if I change this to let's say 101 with name Naveen and if I say color is green. Now in this scenario, if I run this code, you can see uh, we are getting the SQL query but only of insert, no create and no, uh, no drop, right? If I go to my database now, so it's always better to use update. You can see it is not creating a new table every time you run this. And we don't want that, right? We don't want every time you run this application, it should create, it, it, it should create your database again. So that's, that's how you use these two properties, okay? In the next video, we are going to talk about uh, different annotations which we can use. So that's it from this video. Make sure if, if you like this video, please click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.